Hey guys, you are live with MVI, and I will say this is our first live uh, streaming YouTube video, so we'll see how this goes today. This is going to be a two-part video camera systems that we offer, um, different camera systems out there and whatnot, but the two that we offer here, so there's no confusion when you purchase online as to what you need to order and, and what you're getting and all that good stuff. So we are in a 2019 GMC Denali here. This is the old body, um, not the new body style, all new 19, but the old body with the familiar Intel link here. It's got the factory nav, as you can see. Um, and it's 17 and above, so it's got all the different apps and whatnot. So to start with today, uh, we've got our original module in um, that does the 360 cameras, which you can access by these touch arrows here to pull up your, your three new icons, or you can do a quick activate and go right there. Now the biggest difference here with this module is it does have some uh, mobile video capability, which I'll show you here in just a second. But it's also going to give you the uh, the different cameras to pull up either individually while going down the road. You can just pull them up with a simple touch, um, or we can also auto activate. So right blinker, we've got the right side of our truck. Left blinker, we've got the uh, you know left side of our truck. So um, this customer does not have a um, a uh, front front camera on here, so I don't have a way to show you that. But it is there in the menu. If it were there, it would come up. It's black. And then the rear cam in motion. Actually, I don't think he elected to have that either but it will display as normal obviously when you're in vert reverse um, also when going down the road we've got let's click out of that real quick so there's your factory I can switch to well he didn't have the third brake light on here, guys. I apologize. There's my th third brake light camera. Um, it's got a the customer's got a tonneau cover on here, but he does have a big fifth wheel in the back, so he can see the uh, fifth wheel when backing up to his RV to to go pulling it down the road. And then he's also got a wireless camera on here, but that's on the trailer, which is not attached to the truck, so I can't show you that right now. But you can toggle back and forth between the um, third brake light, the factory reverse, and the wireless camera if you so choose. You can also pull them up while going down the road. Um, which should come up now. There's our uh, third brake light. You could also pull the wireless camera up and if you elect if you elect to we can also pull up the factory rear tailgate um, at the same time which this customer did not do but um, had he done so we can also pull up the tailgate handle camera at the same time as well so that's your basic functionality there is no split screen on these ones guys meaning you cannot pull up your left and right at the same time or three at once the other system we offer does do that and that's what I'll show you next. This does auto activate and you can go into settings here. This is actually very important for when you do buy it and set up how you want them to turn on. So if the customer had the front camera on this, which could be added at any, at any time now, you simply check that and it will come on automatically when you go below eight mile per hour or below, which is handy for parking obviously. If you get tired of it while you're in um, um, traffic, you can always shut it off. And then your left and right cameras turn on and off. Um, or you want your cameras to only work while in motion, which I like. That way when you're sitting at a stoplight with your blinker on, you're not looking at the side of your truck. With that other piece check marked, the camera would not come on until you actually start moving um, once it sees movement on the truck, which is nice. So that's the basic overview of the camera um, section of this particular module. 
so you'll see some differences as I show you the next module we do supply a new HDMI USB port with this one it is optional you don't have to have it but I'm gonna go over it now as well this is typically where people have it but this can be flush mounted anywhere say in the center console if you wanted um, and it does come with a little flap as well I'm also playing around with a new little port that's more square which actually I uh, get an opportunity to fit today that would give you um, two USBs an HDMI and an aux to and, and see what we can do and give that to you as an offering but with the smartphone kit set up that we offer we can also now um, mirror the phone up here on the screen so system here and now we've got a full mirror and I've got YouTube you can also use the steering wheel controls to raise and lower the volume type thing um, and this is a full full mirror guys so whatever you guys want to do if you want to go to Facebook if you want to you know go to the internet um, ways Google Maps Apple Maps all that good stuff um, it is a full mirror of the phone so with that said um, in addition to that though this is an HDMI port so Roku Fire Stick if you got Wi-Fi um, all would work in here as well and then uh, we can do Android as well Android is getting a little bit more difficult as the newer phones come out they're taking away some technology and making you go towards their uh, Chromecast so you may want to check on that but we do offer an Android dongle that does let you do wireless I have noticed with a lot of the new newer phones they're not compatible with this dongle that we offer and you do have to have a Chromecast which requires Wi-Fi so you'll want to pay attention to that but this guy also plays a uh, USB video as well so let's just say we've got radio here So we've got some audio here. <clears throat> you can now insert video on the USB here. And this could be a jump drive, a flash stick like this. It's, per, it's not as picky as the factory system used to be. And we're going to access it by using this media button. And we're simply going to press it a few times. And this is going to pop up sometimes twice, and that's normal. can do uh, on-screen controls so if you've got uh, multiple videos you can go to the next with these guys you can also fast forward just with touch fast forward within your video or go to your next one so on and so forth full screen etc etc so this does um, play multiple files so it does not have to be specific files systems not as picky so some pretty good stuff for you there guys so that's um, system number one that's the system that we've offered for quite some time we did recently bring out the um, the split screen system which is basically the uh, GM accessories kit um, so for you guys that don't care about anything about the video and you want the uh, split screen features we're gonna show you that next I am going to have to get this all set up, so we're going to pause this and come back for part two and resume from there. We'll also create a, um, a full-length video once it's all compiled and put it up as well for you. Thanks so much. Alright guys, uh, you're back live with MVI, part two, live YouTube stream on our 360 camera kits. Um, option two, the split 
split screen camera. Um, this is actually a nice interface. This is basically the GM accessories kit, guys, which we have made some enhancements. So once again, factory system here, nav, everything else, all your apps, good to go. Um, so on this one, now one thing I'm gonna mention here um, real quick is the way we've got this set up right now is so factory reverse we can still toggle between third brake light and or wireless if I had it hooked up to, to the switcher um, so you can you know use it in reverse backing up to your fifth wheel which I think is, is a lot more handy because otherwise if you don't do the toggle this is what you get so the, the way you activate this system is by the back button there's usually a little okay message you got to agree to so you go in there and just hit okay and now you can see the icons are completely different we can pull up our left we can pull up our right these will also auto activate right blinker left blinker see it's very smooth go back to reverse now if I have the toggle I got no way to go in there and see my uh, base now we have split so I do have the um, the fifth wheel camera hooked up here. You can kind of do some different configurations on this one. So this is split left, right, and the third brake light. If I wanted to make that wireless, we could do that also. I don't have that hooked up just yet. Um, you can do just left and right by themselves. You can do um, trailer, which would be wireless that I to wireless, which is now blank. So I, I like that option better personally, but you can see there's all kinds of different configurations that you can do. So that's pretty much the rundown. Um, there is a settings here. So if we were to put a front camera on the vehicle, we could enable um, speed up and then speed down. And then of course your left and right blind spots and then your dynamic lines if you want those there and that's pretty much it and then get back you either hit home or hit the back button here so this one has no video capabilities whatsoever it's strictly camera um, in my opinion though the interface is pretty cool for pulling stuff up multiple um, so if you want the video this one doesn't offer it you got to go with the other one if you don't really care about video you want cameras this is the way to go here It'll all be noted on the um, at the end of the video there. Some links check the check below once I get that all edited and and, and live up um, with the full compilation. Um, but for now, and actually, um, you got to hit back again or that arrow up there. It's just the way GM designed it. So, but anyway, I'll have descriptions of both um, at the end of the video once it's all done. And as usual, give us a text, call, whatever at the end. Thanks so much for watching.